and I'm going to show you how to set up envelope one. In the packet that you were given, the facilitator instructions for the escape room, um, one of the pages shows what goes in each envelope. I have highlighted all of the places where we will be adding an actual item. You should have a set of five envelopes, one um, a, a set for each of your groups, so you should have 10 total sets. We're going to be setting up envelope one, and so it's very important that you label these so that they're easy to reassemble at the end of the day because you're going to need to make sure it's set up for your following day's escape rooms. So this is envelope one. This is for the gray group. Um, this gray refers to the, um, the puzzle the color on the puzzle that uh, we assembled earlier. Okay, so we're gonna set up envelope one. So you can see there are several things that are need, going to need to go in there. We're gonna do the easy things first. Starting out with puzzle number one, you should see this in the materials. You're gonna need one of these for each group. This is gonna have to be switched out each day because your groups are going to actually write on these. So you need to make sure that you have enough that you have one for each group. So you're gonna take this and you're going to fold this and this is going to go into envelope one. Puzzle number two is the dot to dot. The dot to dot looks like this. So again, this is something that is going to be reused, so it's going to need to go in fresh every day. You're going to fold this up, and this is going to go in envelope one. Puzzle number three is the pictogram. The pictogram looks like this. Again, this is going to have to be replenished every day for your new groups. This gets folded, and it goes in envelope number one. Then we have the puzzle pieces. Oops. And the puzzle pieces are the uh, puzzle that we put together, right, that we just put together in the previous video. But what you're going to do is you're going to take this puzzle and you're going to break it into pieces. Now, it doesn't matter which of these pieces go in, but you're going to want to put four puzzle pieces in. Now, you guys have a 12-piece puzzle. I originally only had nine-piece puzzles in mind. But you're going to take four puzzle pieces, and those puzzle pieces that you choose are going to go in envelope number one, okay? And every time that you reassemble, you're going to have to put four puzzle pieces in envelope one. The other thing that we have are our transparency pieces, again, that we did in our previous video. This is where transparency piece A goes. Transparency piece A is going into the envelope. The last thing that we need to do is that if they get through all of the puzzles, they should be able to get their lockbox code. And when they do, they're going to need to fill out the lockbox code on here, and they will come up to you to the facilitator to say, I've got my lockbox code, so that they can get their next envelope. So this lockbox code is also, or the sheet is also going to need to go in envelope one. And now envelope one has all of the things that the camper is the camper group is going to need to get through envelope one and get to envelope two. If you have any questions about anything in this envelope, please make sure that you put that in the FAQ.